How you doing, Grand National? Well, I'm just out down here at the Cantuna. I took the old truck out for a drive today and she's running pretty good. Welcome to life with Bilsif. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today. I'm just kind of out and about. Wanted to make sure the water pump wasn't leaking and the water pump looks decent. But I gotta stop by the old man's and see what he's doing. And then we'll kind of go from there. Let's take you a ride for the ride. Let's take you along for the ride. <laughs> Let's rock this joint. Am I still bleeding? Frick. Nope, good. What's really going on with the music, Jim? Lake Chippikin, how you doing? I'll tell you one thing, Jim. She's cold and sorry today. That damn lake, north wind, freezes you out. Wait for a duck, here we are. Little can of gooseys. Just mind his own business, strolling across the road. How you doing? How you doing, bud? Wait, wait, oh, another one. How you doing, bud? Freaking Canadian gooses, geeses. Wherever the hell you are. Good eatings. Sorry about that. Oh, I was worried about these speed bumps in Canterra Park, which I talked about there on the uh, a couple videos ago. It seemed to be fine hitting her dead on, so that's a good thing. I didn't go too low. It just went low enough. Captain? You just hold your horses. Good, good. Good old fuel injection. You see that? Not too bad for a 305. She's no freaking speed demon, though. I'll tell you that right now. She's more of a laggy gogger. Laggy gagging. Ah, uh, yeah. Hold on, we're going. I can't turn you, so I don't know if you can see me or not, but the old man's not home. He must be doing something else. But we'll go this way. Take a little cruise down Lakeshore here, maybe. Actually, no, we'll take a little cruise down that way and this way and the other way first. It's just a cruising machine. Am I still bleeding? Probably not. Probably am. Oh, I'm not good. Frick, I was bleeding like a sieve there. Cut myself shaving this morning. I picked this little doodad off and she come gushing, she did. Thank God I'm sitting on a towel. Careful. Tell you one thing, the old truck rides pretty, uh, pretty tight she does another thing I got to do too the rear end remember we did the rear end I put we did the leafs there but when I put the u-bolts back on I didn't pull them up tight against the rear end so we're gonna have to loosen them off and slide them over whether or not that's what's going on back there she sounds a little clunky I guess I should check that I'll throw the camera on you and you guys can check it for me all right I will so let's do that
Hopefully not too bad. I haven't seen the footage myself yet, so we'll have to see. the forest and we're gonna get a coffee at the good old Tim Hortons here in forest maybe something to eat cuz I'm hungry we got a couple little dings at dongs that we gotta iron out we got a little spring ding dong and we got a little rear clock clinky we'll figure that all out together well there we go we made her home safe and sound no new marks or dings or stuff like that still a little bit of dust out there on the roads there is but hey Jim she is what she is she is but I did get the yard cleaned up and fertilized and I got a little fire going there to take care of the rest of the crap. But I just want to take you along with me, show you that the truck runs good, show you a few angles of the dangles. You know this ain't gonna be a long video like I have been doing, but I'm gonna to try to do longer videos and not so many of these ones. But I know that you probably wanted to see the old 87 go down the road, so I figured I'd show you. But anyways, hopefully you're just having a good day, enjoying the weather, spring's coming, Jim. Until the next one, we'll see you later.